Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be on how to figure out a fake friend. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I'm doing this like from like my own experiences and whatnot, so no research for this topic, but I really hope you guys enjoy this and yeah, let's get into it. Well, one thing they do, like for example, you may tell them a secret, however big or small, and then they say, oh, I promise I'll keep that secret. But no, they'll go around telling people. Now, I know like a, a good friend sometimes will accidentally tell a secret to someone that they shouldn't have and they thought they trust them then they went around telling them. But I mean like screaming secrets out, going around like telling everyone basically, not just like one person they really trust, going around telling everyone just to like cause drama and then, because like one time I had a girl, I had a crush on this guy or something and basically she screamed out in PE, Lauren loves so and so and whatnot. Obviously, I can't say the name of the person or the name of who did that, but it was really, really embarrassing and just really was done on purpose. Like, if you're going to tell a secret to someone that, like, so tell one of your friend's secrets to someone without when you shouldn't do it, at least say it to someone who you really, really trust. And even then, it's a bit risky, but certainly don't go around screaming it because a real friend would never scream around your secrets, especially. If it's something really really awkward like that, something I didn't want being spread around and I trusted her but unfortunately she screamed it around and I lost trust in her basically, I never really told her any big secrets after that. Number two, you probably noticed that when a fake, you have a fake friend, they only want you when they actually need something. As soon as they got what they needed or got what they wanted, they'll just stop talking to you even if you need support or help or something. You'll they'll never be there for you or they'll never do anything for you, they just want something for themselves. It's like, it's very like self-centered kind of behavior fake friends got, they basically want something from you but they don't, they're not going to give you anything in return and good friends will do something for each other. A good friend will always be there for one another and they'll always do things for each other. A friendship doesn't just go one way, it goes both ways. So if friendship is going literally one way then that is a bad sign because both friends should like do the same for each other, they should be there for each other and support each other no matter what. And if all they're doing is wanting something for you, that's basically like begging. It's just, it's not very healthy. Number three, a bad friend will try to cause drama um, and a good friend wouldn't cause drama. Like for example, they may say something that's not true about you. Like for example, they may say something like, so and so has been a bully to this person and that and then they go around saying it around the school to the point that everyone finds out about it and you get in trouble. And a true friend would never accuse you of something you didn't do. They'd only tell on you if you actually did something bad and they'd be honest about it. They'd never accuse you of something that you've never done. And But a fake friend, they like to stir up drama just to get attention. And it's quite sad that all they want is attention because they don't obviously don't get enough attention in their lives, which is why they do it. But it makes their friend feel really bad in the end and obviously but they won't feel bad about it because a true friend if they stirred up drama by accident and realized that it really hurt them and took the wrong way they'd feel upset a fake friend won't feel upset about it they'll just think it's hilarious and all that and that's not a true friend you don't want a friend going around stirring around drama because a true friend would never do that number four a, a fake friend in most situations with like talk behind your back so like for example if there's something they don't like about you or think is not good about you they'll say it behind your back now saying it to your face obviously it hurts but at least saying it to your face like it's not as bad because at least like you've heard it so you know it but if you say it behind your back that's like keeping that complete secret from you and a friend shouldn't keep something a complete secret from you especially if it's something really nasty about you like for example they go behind your back and say oh, I really, really hate Lauren's hair, I don't like the look of it and all that. And they constantly go around saying that to people. But a good friend won't constantly go around people saying bad things behind your back. A good friend will... Well, I mean, obviously, you're going to find things annoying about some of your friends or dislike certain parts about your friends. That's normal. But if you're going around saying hateful things behind their backs all the time, that's not good. That's not, not a sign of a good friendship. A good friend will never say bad things behind your back. And they certainly wouldn't do it like all the time, like to everyone they're around. So yeah, it's a big bad warning sign. They're constantly saying bad things behind your back without knowing. But obviously this is hard to find out because obviously they do it behind your back. You won't be around. So 
but you'll probably eventually find out the truth from like other people that they've been talking bad behind your back. Number five is you'll never feel truly happy around them. If it's a good friend and you really like that person, you'd always feel happy around them. You'll always be happy to see them. You'll make any effort to meet up with them. But if it's a bad friend, you won't want to see them half the time. You won't feel relaxed around them. You'll feel on the edge. You shouldn't feel off the edge around your friends. Certainly not. And you'd get that vibe of jealousy off them, like they're jealous of you or something, or would rather be with someone else. And your friend shouldn't have, you shouldn't think in the moment, oh my God, my friend next to me would rather be with someone else. You'd be hoping that they'd want to be able to be with you and want to spend time with you. And that's a sign that they're not a good friend if you don't feel comfortable or relaxed around them. Obviously, if you're an intense person and get nervous around people, that's normal, but... If you're like feeling like really uncomfortable and really unsettling to the point that you're not even having fun with them, you're not even enjoying yourself, you're not even happy to see them anymore, that's a warning sign that it's not a good friend because they're not making you feel relaxed, not making you feel happy, they're basically not making you feel anything and a good friend should make you happy like most of the time at least. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's really hard to find out who a fake friend is, especially that it's just there's so many signs that get done behind your back and all that. It is hard to figure it out. But once you've figured it out, make sure to get that toxic person out of your life straight away because it is really important because you don't want someone bad in your life because that'll put, make you feel really bad mentally and it'll put a strain on you. So make sure to get rid of any toxic people in your life once you find out. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be back for a tutorial on the Wednesday. So bye for now.